Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about the land biomes of the world. I'll cover the temperate deciduous forest biome, the desert biome, the taiga biome, the tundra biome. I also will discuss the tropical rainforest, the savanna biome, and finally, the grassland biome. Let's get started. Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about the deciduous forest. The temperate deciduous forest is a beautiful biome famous for four season and trees that lose their leaves each winter. Let's take a look at the deciduous forest. The deciduous forest can be found in the eastern half of North America, the middle of Europe, eastern China, southeastern Australia, Asia, and Japan. Deciduous forests have very fertile soil. As a result, you will find broadleaf trees such as oaks, maples, and beeches, pine trees, perennial herbs, and mosses. You will also find a variety, large variety of organisms, such as spiders, turtles, salamanders, birds, cardinals, woodpeckers, black bear, deer, and even foxes. The climate of the deciduous forest is most famous for the four seasons. It receives 30 to 6, 60 inches of precipitation a year, and this precipitation happens year-round. The average temperature is around 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The summers range between 70 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit, and the winters range from zero to around 50 degrees. Deciduous forest is a beautiful biome. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I would like to talk about the biome deserts. Deserts are areas that receive very little rainfall and have extreme temperatures. During the day, the temperature may reach up to 50 degrees Celsius, but at night it may fall to zero degrees Celsius. Let's take a look at a typical desert. Deserts receive less than 25 centimeters or 9 inches of rainfall per year. Because they have very little precipitation, the living conditions are very hostile for plant and animal life. This lack of vegetation exposes the unprotected surface of the ground. However, deserts make up one third of all land on Earth. Most deserts are found between 20 degrees and 35 degrees north of the equator and 20 degrees and 35 degrees south of the equators. 
There are several types of deserts. A desert can be hot and dry. It can be semi-arid with some shrub brush. You sometimes have coastal deserts. And then you have the very cold deserts like Antarctica. Plants and animals that live in deserts must have adaptations that help them survive with little rainfall and extreme temperatures. You may find cactus and shrubs, lizards and snakes. Let's take a look at a couple. But you also may find some larger animals, like this sheep. These plants and animals must have adaptations that allow them to conserve water in order to survive in the desert. So there we go. There's the desert biome. Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about the biome taiga. The taiga is located below the tundra biome. The taiga biome is also known as the coniferous forest or the boreal forest. This biome is the world's largest land biome. And in North America, it cover, covers most of Canada and Alaska. And it also covers most of Sweden, Finland, Norway, and parts of Russia. This biome typically has short, west, wet summers and long, cold winters. Precipitation is moderate in the taiga. It gets plenty of snow during the winter and plenty of rainfall during the summer. The taiga has the lowest annual average temperature after the tundra and also has permanent ice caps. The forests of the taiga are largely coniferous and contain spruce, fir, and pine trees. A coniferous tree keep their leaves in the, throughout the year and have needle-like leaves. The boreal forest or taiga supports a relative, relatively small range of animals due to the harshness of the climate. It is home to a number of large mammals such as the moose, the reindeer, and some caribou. And some parts of the taiga also have populations of deer. In addition, you may find gray wolves, coyote, a red fox, a brown bear, or maybe even a polar bear. There's the taiga, the world's largest land biome, a cold but happy math and science. In this video, I'd like to talk about the biome called the tundra. The tundra is found in North America, Asia, and Europe, and circles the Arctic Ocean. The tundra is cold and during the winter will have periods of complete darkness for 24 hours. Temperatures can drop to minus 20 or 30 degrees Fahrenheit. In the summer, temperatures may rise to 50 to 60 degrees, but the soil remains frozen year round. This frozen soil is called permafrost. Take a look at what permafrost looks like in the summer. Plants in the tundra have a short growing season and are small short plants. Examples include lichen, moss, and some shrubs. There are not trees in the tundra. There are many animals found in the tundra. These include caribou, reindeer, the arctic fox, and polar bear. These animals have adaptations to help them 
survive the cold. It may be thick fur or they may be white in color. The white color helps the animal blend in and helps prevent heat loss. These animals feed on each other and on the moss and lichen. You can also find small rodents called lemmings. These lemmings provide food for the arctic foxes. So there we go, the tundra. It's a cold, frozen, large landmass found in math and science. In this video, I'd like to talk about the tropical rainforest. The tropical rainforest is famous for trees, rain, humidity, and hot weather. Tropical rainforests are found near the equator. Notice the location of the tropical rainforest on this map. Let's take a look at what the rainforest looks like. The average temperature of a tropical rainforest falls between 93 degrees and 70 degrees Fahrenheit year-round. Tropical rainforests receive up to 100 inches of rain. Because rainforests receive so much rain, it can support lots of trees. In fact, there are so many trees in the rainforest that they can be divided into four layers. At the very bottom is the forest floor. It only receives 2% of the sunlight. Plants must be adapted to grow in low light. The forest floor also contains decaying plant and animal matter. You also will find lots of fungi growing here that help decay the animal and plant waste. The next layer is the understory layer. It is found between the canopy and the forest floor. It is home to a number of birds, small mammals, insects, reptiles, and predators. Up next is the canopy layer. It is the primary layer of the tropical rainforest and can be called the roof of the rainforest. It contains most of the largest trees and many broad-leafed evergreen trees. And finally, the emergent layer. The emergent layer are very large trees that poke out of the canopy. These trees actually grow above the canopy. They need to be able to withstand very hot temperatures and strong winds. There is a huge variety of plants and animals found in the rainforest and many, many insects. A couple examples include colorful frogs, big snakes, apes and gorillas, this weird bird called the cassowary, and many more. I'll leave links if you need to research this more in the show notes. So in summary, the tropical rainforest is found near the equator. It is hot, receives lots of rain, and has the most diversity of plants in math and science. In today's video, I'd like to talk about the biome called the savanna. The savanna is a biome with large patches of grassland and trees and occasional shrubs. It is a mix between a tropical forest and a desert.
hasn't received quite enough rain to support a forest. It is located in Africa, Brazil, Australia, and India. Savannas have a warm to hot climate and can receive up to 20 to 50 inches of rainfall a year. However, the rainfall is concentrated in six to eight months. Then you have a period of drought when fires may occur. These fires kill off enough trees to prevent a savanna from becoming a tropical forest. There are many types of grasses found in a savanna and also the occasional, occasional tree like an acacia or a biobab. These are found in Africa and India and can grow up to 80 feet tall. The savanna is also home to some of the largest land-dwelling animals. Let's take a look at these animals. Savannas contain elephants, rhinos, zebras, lions, and hyenas. Savannas are similar to grasslands, but they have more rain, trees, and a longer period of drought each year. So there you have the savanna, a biome that receives a fair amount of rain, but it's not a forest and it's not a desert. It's grass. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about the temperate grassland. Temperate grasslands is a biome found in North America, South America, Europe, and Africa. In North America, they're called prairies. In South America, they're called pampas. In Europe, they're called steeps. And in Africa, they're called veldts. Grasslands are famous for not having many trees and for very fertile soil. Grasslands receive between 25 and 35 inches of rain. Summers can reach up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, but then it can get below freezing in the winter. Grazing animals, small rodents, and coyotes are found at the grasslands. Thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.